Let's hear from Savio now. Hey, Savio, thanks so much for doing this. Yes, sir. Just to kick things off, we know that you knew Brody and you knew Jose and how things worked in that territory. What do you think happened that night between the both of them? I hear some stories that uh, they owe him money. Well, how much they owe him, because I remember Brody come to Puerto Rico so many times, and, and he was a money man. Everybody, they come to wrestle, get their money, and go home. If they owe him money, why he come back? Another theory that I hear was in New York, when Invader was wrestled there, the old Vince McMahon told Brody to take care of Jose because he was one of the Puerto Ricans to help him there and, and you know, give him some percentage of the match. And I hear that Brody don't give him nothing. Savio, in the episode, you know, Tony Atlas talks about how you came to him and sort of warned him about some possible retaliation. Can you take us through your side of that story and what really happened between you and Tony there? So I remember the, he was telling him what happened and he coming better too to translate. When he was translated to the cop, he just looking at him and he said, what happened to, to this mother He He want the same thing to happen to him. So when he said that, I remember I just look at him like, what a cold son of a bitch. What I told Tony, I remember, I said, brother, just be careful in the hotel. But I don't remember going to the room and grab the bags and let's go. And, you know, that sounds like a movie. Savio, one of the things we weren't able to expand upon in the episode was uh, the trial of Jose Gonzalez, which you were a part of. Can you just take us through your memories of that day? The trial was okay. They sent me the uh, papers to be there. Uh, None of the guys from the States arrived. They asked me uh, if I know the, their address. I said, no, but the, the company know about the address. You know, they said, well, they say they can found it. I said, why they can found it when, when they print and they book the guys to come to Puerto Rico? I was maybe sit down, I don't know, 25 minutes maybe. Here come their lawyer, asked me a couple of questions. Uh, wasn't that many, just the clothing. This is the clothing they better have on, yes. And that's it. You could go home. I, I wanted to ask one more question about the trial because I remember you telling the story, I think it was on Jim Cornette's thing or maybe another thing where you talked about running into Jose or Jose's attorney in the bathroom or something. Can you tell us that story? When I went to the bathroom, behind me was the lawyers and Jose. And Jose grabbed my hand and shake my hand. And when he shake my hand, I just look at him and say, do you know he have a kid? You know, and he said, yeah, 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 and walk out. And he the lawyer said, thank you. Thanking me for what? You know, when I was there, I was like, thanking me for what? For saying the truth? You know, if you're saying the truth, it's, it's, it's bad. So they have a problem. I don't have a problem. All right, Savio, thank you so much, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank Anything, you very much. Let me know.